Today we're going to look at the time action figures came with CD-ROMs or a floppy disk. Welcome back to the Junk Room everybody, it's me the Jumpman coming back at you with another video. And today we're going to look at this fad of the 90s and into the early 2000s when some action figures came with either a floppy disk in the 90s and then in the late 90s, early 2000s, a CD-ROM disk. Remember floppy disk? Hopefully they don't even make them anymore. Remember those big ones in the 80s? But, I mean, having a gimmick with your action figure to get kids to buy it, there's nothing new. We had action figures that came with free rings. I, I don't know why they thought boys would want a free ring. We even had He-Man figures, both old and 90s, that came with a cassette tape. Action figures and cassette tapes. But in the 90s, there was a string of action figures that first came with floppy disk. Now, a lot of these games are not even archived. You don't even know what's on them. Sometimes there are games on it. Sometimes there's just inner, I don't know, cartoon. I don't know what's on these discs. Because let's be honest, 99% of us bought these figures and we never put the disc in the thing. We never use these discs. What I would do, I would take the disc, put it in the computer, and delete everything on it. And then I'll have me a free disc to put, I don't know, pictures of Jennifer Love Hewitt on it, I guess. But let's look at let's let's start with the ones that came with free floppy disk Ooh, taking you back to your 90s with this one aren't we believe it or not hot wheels had a floppy disk in 1993 not really an action figure but they did try to get kids to pay a little bit more for a hot wheels car by putting a floppy disk in it when you think floppy disk and action figures you probably think of this line right here and yes that's supposed to be will smith yep will smith this was made by Trend Masters, who just loved to put floppy disk in everything. They also did a Mars Attacks line that came with a floppy disk, and a John Carter, Warrior of Mars, even had a floppy disk also. And if that was enough, a big ass Gumby came with a floppy disk. Gumby, damn it! But that's a look at some that came with a floppy disk. What about the CD ROM era? Yep, we moved away from floppy disks. Oh, thank God. And we started getting. CD-ROMs. They would even show up at your house for American Online. You get like two a week. Thank God, because I would use that free 30 days American Online so I could get American Online free every month. They would send you so many of these. But let's look at action figures lines that came with a CD-ROM. There was a Phoenix Saga X-Men Wolverine that came with a CD-ROM. This seems like it would be a total line of figures, but I only could find this one figure that came with the CD-ROM. Doesn't even have a Phoenix that come with a CD-ROM. G.I. Joe got into the act in 2003 with Mission Disc. That's not a CD-ROM, it's a Mission Disc. Another one I think a lot of you probably know is Star Trek Starfleet Academy. This is when they took the next generation action figures and put them in high school. And of course it came with a Starfleet Academy CD-ROM. Wrestlers got into the act with TNA's CD-ROM figures. We almost got a Luke Skywalker that came with a CD-ROM, but the figure was never released. But we did get a CD-ROM playset. This is like the dashboard of the Falcon that would hook up to your computer. Silver Surfer put down his surfboard and picked up a CD-ROM in 1996. And believe it or not, Hot Wheels was back again. They took out the floppy disk and put a CD-ROM. And like I said, this was a gimmick to get kids to buy it, but I don't know any kid or any collector, anyone that bought the figure just because it had this little CD-ROM or floppy disk with it. I don't know when I was a kid why we didn't get a Star Wars action figure that came with a free 8-track. That would have been pretty awesome. But, like I said, I don't know any, any kid that was excited about these CD-ROMs, these games. Maybe you did. Maybe you're like, screw the figure. I'll play with it later. i got to go see what's on this CD-ROM. I'm sure it's a horrible graphic. Some cheap game that some company was probably testing. And they said, hey, let's just give it to the toy company real cheap here. And they'll slap a name on it. These things were horrible. Let's be honest. If you even put them in your computer, and I bet you most of you didn't. Anyway, that's a look at the time. Action figures came with a CD-ROM or a dang floppy disk. When was the last time you heard that word floppy disk? It wasn't even floppy. Those big ones were floppy. You could flop them. I guess the insides of it was, but the outside was a hard shell. Thank you for watching. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>